Hello, my name is Glenn Vergy from vergyspeed.com. Today we're going to talk about why speed. Why is speed important for you and your child? Essentially, the difference between elite and non-elite athletes is their ability to change direction quickly. So in essence, when I'm talking about speed training, I'm also talking about agility training, which is side-to-side -side movement. I'm also talking about power training, like jumping and plyometrics. So now that that's out of the way, why we do speed training is because I want to get all the athletes I'm training to a much higher level, a better level than they're currently at. And some of them are never going to make it to the elite level, but if I can help them improve even 10% or 20% in terms of their overall movement quickness or their speed, they're going to play better, they're going to have more fun, and they're going to have more success. So the goal is, of any training program, it should be based around improving the power and the speed qualities. So let me give you an example. If, for instance, you saw an image of Blake Griffin dunking, the NBA superstar, you would notice, wow, he's extremely powerful. Or, on the other hand, if you noticed tennis superstar Serena Williams um, hammer a forehand winner, you're going to notice, wow, she's exceptionally powerful. Or NHL superstar Brad Richards. You notice when he is on the ice, he's extremely powerful, extremely quick. On the flip side, you take the London 2012 Olympic gold medal marathon winner from Uganda. Notice his body size and shape compared to NBA superstar Blake Griffin. Vastly different. There's nothing wrong with being a highly competitive endurance athlete or a highly competitive power athlete, the difference is it's in the training. If you wanna be a competitive athlete, you have to focus on the power speed qualities. You do not wanna focus on purely the endurance qualities or purely the strength qualities. Now again, I'm not suggesting don't go out and do endurance training and don't go out and do st purely strength training. Yes, there's going to be times in your training cycle within your training year and in your off season where endurance is a major component. There's also going to be times where strength training is a very, very massive component. But you have to always have on a year-round basis strength, power, speed in its appropriate levels and volumes and intensities in order for you to be an effective athlete at the highest level. So in a nutshell, that's why us at Virgie Speed focus on speed as our foundation for athletic development. My name is Glenn Virgie. Visit us at virgiespeed.com if you found this helpful or useful. My job is to help you get faster so you can blow by your competition.